Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. In today's Microsoft Excel tutorials video, we are going to see that how can we connect slicers with charts in Microsoft Excel. Now from our previous videos, you all must have already known that what is a slicer. So uh, I'm going to reiterate it once again. A slicer is a, a thing that helps you to filter the data of a table. Now we have already seen from our previous videos that how can we connect slicers to pivot tables. So uh, we know that pivot tables have dynamic data. So using the slicers, we can show the data that matches a particular filtering criteria in a very interactive way. Now in the same uh, section, we are going to see that how slicers can be applied over charts in Microsoft Excel. Now the reason being that charts are usually used for presentations purposes and whenever you are doing any presentation then we already know that to apply filters in the chart you got to follow some steps which could be lengthy and it does not look good in a presentation so that is why we have an option of going with slicers for the charts as well so how is this going to be implemented that is what we are going to see in today's video so let's start with it in front of our screens you all can see that there is this data present and in this data there is all these months from january to december and then there is some uh, amount written in dollars so what it is exactly is the sales amount or the amount of the sales done over the 12 months so first of all let us provide it with some kind of header like months and sales. Now, once our data is ready, what we got to do is create a slicer for this table. So creating a slicer for this table is like, if you just um, click on this table, you can just select this table and then you see, then there is no design tab. So you cannot create a slicer for it. So how do we do that? So for this one thing that is needed is you got to convert it into a table. So I have just converted it into a table like this. Yes. So you can see that as soon as I did that, this design tab is present. And now I can perform each and every option of the design tab that was available in the pivot table, but it is slightly different. So I'm going to cover it in the next video that uh, what is the significance of a table. But as of now, we are going to see that how can we uh, create slicers for it. So yeah, once you have created your table out of the data, then what you got to do is go to your design tab, then uh, go to this insert slicer option. Now from here, you have the option of insert slicers of two columns because we have only two columns in the table. So you can select any option. Like I want to insert a sales slicer. So I have clicked on sales. And now if I just click on, you say uh, any data like $100. So there is only one option of $100 thirty dollars and like this so i can uh, apply the slicer and i can clear its filter so that's about how you can create a slicer for the table but i'm just going to delete the slicer now i want to create a slicer for a chart so what we're going to do is first create a chart from this table because for chart a table is required so we are going to create a chart out of this table now we all know that how can we create charts of the tables so first is the shortcut method then you can go to this insert tab or you can just select this whole table and press ctrl q sorry yeah you can press ctrl q for this option and you can get these charts option so i'm going to go with a cluster chart this time okay so yeah my chart is created but how can I insert a slicer? If I go to the design tab, there is no option of inserting a slicer. And I am in a presentation where I want to show only the specific data, like of the month January, then how will I show it? I can go to this filters option and then uncheck it and only check on January, select on January. So the data of the month of January would be visible then. Okay, but that's not what I want. I do not want to follow all these steps. What I want to do is I want a quick method. So for that, I'm going to insert a slicer. So again, uh, we know that the slicers can only be inserted for the tables. So we are going to do that as only. 
just select the column go to the design tab and insert the slicer this time we are going to insert the slicer for months column so just click on it and click ok so you can see that the slicer for months is created i'm just going to zoom in a little bit for a better view yes now if we just uh, click on the month january just extend it a little bit then you can see only the data of this january month is visible in the chart if you want to show multiple options then you can enable multi select from here you can press the alt s for the shortcut key or you can just right click and go to multi select months from here as well to select multiple months as at once now what i want to show is um, the comparative analysis of the data of three months okay so yeah january february and march that's what i have selected and january february march data is visible on the table and this january february and march data is available in my chart so using this slicer now i have connected my chart and now i can just uh, use this slicer to filter the data what is shown in my chart so that is how you can connect a slicer with a chart but uh, this time what it is happening is this slicer is connected only to a single chart now in our previous videos we already know that a slicer can be connected to multiple pivot tables so the question arises that is it possible that we can connect this slicer to multiple charts and the answer is yes we can connect one slicer to multiple charts also so how can we go with it let's see first of all i'm going to just clear the filters so that all of this data is visible then again just select uh, this whole table and just go to this charts option for quick analysis this time i'm going to enter a line chart okay and i'm going to place it in the right of this slicer yes now oh, both these charts are visible okay yeah perfect now what if i apply some filters like i only want to show the data of the month january now you can see the difference in the clustered chart this data is visible only for january but in the line chart it's not visible it is not because this chart is not connected with the slicer it is actually connected but for the line chart to be visible we need at least two points so enable this multi select and select two options like january and february so you can see that the line is now constructed and um, the line chart is also following the rules of the slicer now this means we have connected uh, more than one chart that is exactly two charts with the slicer but actually what we have done over here is we have connected the slicer with this table and that is allowed in microsoft excel but constructing or um, associating a chart with a slicer is not allowed in microsoft excel so what we have done is we have associated our slicer with this table and out of this table we have created two charts one is this chart which is a clustered column chart and then we have created this second line chart now uh, after these charts have been created we can filter the data using this slicer for this table actually we are filtering the data of this table and since these charts are linked with this data so they are changing dynamically because they have active links active links with the table now if you just make any changes in the slicer or if you apply any of the filters then you can see that exactly what it is happening with these charts so this is how you can connect the slicer with multiple charts and one other thing if you just click on the slicer and go to this options tab then you can see this report connections thing is disabled the reason being we are only allowed to connect a slicer with a table but here actually this slicer is indirectly connected with these two charts so this option is disabled because microsoft excel is not understanding that what is happening with the slicer it is not able to understand that uh, what connections the slicer has so that is why this uh, option is disabled but still there are these all these options which you can access like you can increase the column number you can increase the height of the columns decrease it you can manage the width of the columns you can manage the height and width of the slicer as well like this you can change its caption suppose instead of months i want time 
and uh, you can see that its header has been changed to time so all these settings you can change but report connections option is disabled so that is how you can connect your slicer with charts and with multiple charts in microsoft excel that's all for this video thanks for watching